Art lovers, collectors, and dealers from around the world are gathering in New York for Asia Art Week. It's an annual event that focuses on auctioning pieces from a number of Asian countries, making the event one of the largest in the world. Chinese artwork in particular is expected to be the best sellers. CCTV's Shazi Tendon has more. It's one of the most anticipated auctions at Asia Art Week. The collection of Robert Hatfield Ellsworth, a passionate admirer who is considered to be fully immersed in every facet of Asian art. From ancient statues to Ming furniture and Chinese paintings, Ellsworth's vast collection is being auctioned off at global auction house Christie's. Robert Ellsworth was a hugely charismatic man who collected across so many different categories. He was not just a collector, but as everybody knows, he also dealt in fine Chinese and Asian art, but he was also a scholar. He wrote some of the best books on Chinese furniture and really introduced Chinese furniture to people in the West. So the whole magic and aura of the personality of Robert Ellsworth has been reflected in the sales. The first auction held on Tuesday had 10 pieces up for sale. All were sold for 61 million dollars and almost all the buyers were Asian. It's not just Christie's that's seeing an influx of Asian buyers. Global auction houses like Sotheby's and Bonham's are also observing the same trend. There's a growing demand for Asian art throughout the U.S. And given the profusion of fakes that often flood the Chinese market, many American, European and Asian buyers all flock to the United States because they trust the authenticity of the pieces that are sold here by U.S. collectors. Whether they're buying in New York or other parts of the world, Asian purchasing power is hard to ignore. Asian buyers represent 27% of auction house Christie's global clientele. Last year, Christie's sold $844 million worth of Asian art. Sotheby's sold almost $800 million, and Chinese auction house China Guardian racked up $940 million in sales last year. Collectors like Ellsworth have helped place Asian art on the global map. But it was really his renown, particularly in the field of Asian art, and how he really brought Asian art to the attention of people in the West 30 or 40 years ago, or 50 years ago even, when it didn't have so much attention as it does now. And for that, he's truly respected and revered amongst people in America, but also, of course, amongst people in China. As Chinese buyers come to New York looking to bid on the next treasure, art dealers say the best place to find and buy Chinese antiques isn't in China. It's right here in the U.S. Tracy Tandon, CCTV, New York.